live and online from the Honda Center. This is the 2024 Western Governors University Commencement Ceremony in Anaheim, California. This ceremony is for the School of Technology and the School of Business graduates. This is a live broadcast and will be available for replay on YouTube and WGU's website. Please welcome to the stage, Bob Benson. Welcome. It is my distinct honor to convene the 97th commencement of Western Governors University. I'm Bob Benson, Regional Director for the West Region. We welcome you to Anaheim. Over 44 million people have walked through the doors of the Honda Center, but I think you, our graduates, family members, and special guests are the most remarkable people to visit this space. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate this momentous occasion. And for every one of you that is here, we know there are many others who are unable to join in person but are streaming. A special welcome to our online guests joining from across the country and around the world. As you celebrate, please share your excitement on social media using the hashtag WGUGrad. What a great gathering of our night owls worldwide. Now, if you are able, please stand for our national anthem. Please be seated. We are delighted to be hosting you in Orange County. Thank you, Jessica Bewley, for an inspiring performance. Jessica and her husband live in Martinsburg, West Virginia, with their sweet dog and snuggly cat. When she's not working in IT, you can find her spreading her love of music at her local performing arts studio, where she teaches voice lessons, musical theater, and tap dance. Jessica will walk across the stage today to receive her Master of Science in IT Management. Thank you again, Jessica, for sharing your talents with us. I am Rick Benbow, Regional Vice President of WGU's West Region. On behalf of the entire university and our Board of Trustees, we honor our graduates and congratulate you on completing one of life's greatest achievements. <laughs> WGU graduates, I hope your memories of this day will remain with you forever. Commencement marks the moment that you cross the line between student and alum, embarking on a new chapter filled with opportunities for growth 
connection, and contribution. It marks the moment between one phase of your life and the next, between what is behind and what is ahead, and what is known and the unknown. Each of you has accomplished something extraordinary. Your graduation is a milestone reached and a dream achieved. It's the culmination of challenges faced and obstacles overcome. You have taken a unique journey to make it here, and your determination and perseverance inspire all of us and mark a pathway for others to follow. Given that children of college graduates are 10 times more likely to attain a degree, many of you have not only enhanced your own life, but that of your families and the generations that will follow you. WGU began in the year 19, 1997, near the dawn of the internet. Our 19 founding governors had the foresight to see technological advances as an opportunity to adapt and even reinvent higher education to make it more accessible and affordable to improve its quality and relevancy to the future of work and to increase the value delivered to students. Ultimately, to change lives for the better, more than 26 years later, WGU has awarded over 362,000 degrees. Today's milestone represents an unprecedented level of dedication, persistence, creativity, and resilience. And for that, we congratulate and celebrate you. The Disney character from Winnie the Pooh, Christopher Robin, said, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. The education you've received at WGU has prepared you to bravely journey into the unknown, to explore and experiment, to ultimately create a bright and exciting future, to persist in the face of great obstacles, and to move yourselves, your families, and your communities forward with strength and passion. We know you'll be successful. Our master's graduates join only 14% of adults in the U.S. who hold master's degrees. Many of you are graduating today with a family member, and we offer special congratulations to those who are sharing this accomplishment with a loved one. WGU is grateful to be recognized year after year as a military-friendly university, and we are especially honored to recognize the military members proudly wearing red, white, and blue cords. We thank you for your service to our country and ask that you please stand to be recognized. Also joining us are many of our WGU faculty and staff. Profound thanks to our faculty. Would you please put your hands together to offer your appreciation for their time and dedication supporting your journey. Thank you. And now I'd like to share some facts about today's graduating class. There are 916 graduates earning master's and bachelor's degrees. Forty-six percent of you are the first in your family to earn a college degree, and we extend a special congratulations to you. And 65% of you identify as students of color.
Your average age is 36 years old, and the youngest is 19, and the oldest is 72. The average time to earn your degree was two years and five months. Forty-three states are represented here today, and 45 percent of you are from California. Our graduate who traveled the furthest to join us from Pago Pago, Samoa, some 4,802 miles away, You all work diligently to reach an educational milestone that will change the course of your own history and influence future generations. Thank you for allowing us at WGU to be a part of your fulfillment of your dream. It has been our honor. Now it is my pleasure to introduce and welcome to the lectern WGU's president, Scott Pulsifer. President Pulsifer. Uh, hopefully you notice Rick's uh, shoes there. Uh, I feel chagrined that I didn't wear mine today. Nice Rick and Bob, they both have their uh, Air Jordans on with WGU on the back. That's a nice pair of kicks, so I appreciate that. Uh, it's truly inspiring to be with all of you here and also wonderful to see your parents, your children, your family, your friends, uh, truly to be here and celebrate each and every one of you. Uh, it's incredible. It is always awe-inspiring for all of us who've been associated with WGU to uh, see uh, the lives that are being changed because of education. We certainly know that talent is universal and that opportunity is abundant and that if given the opportunity, every single one of you and every single one of us has something big to contribute to the world. So thank you for showing each and every one of us that way. Uh, I would like to say that uh, two years and five months to complete your degree, I'm just wondering, like, why are you going so slow? You know, <laughs> wow, two years and five months. Uh, it is uh, somewhat ironic that too often in higher education they refer to bachelor's degrees as four-year degrees, uh, but apparently that was too slow for all of you. Uh, it's great, anyway, to see and to be here to celebrate you and to be with you at this special moment. You have, as Rick highlighted, overcome great obstacles to completing your degree. Uh, each of you has an amazing story that has brought you to this point. Like Christopher Lamones from Pasadena, California, who has earned his bachelor's in business, he used Arthur Ashe's mantra, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can, to overcome ADHD and become the first in his family to graduate from college. That's what he did. Or Gladys Cezanne, who's joining us all the way from Guam. I hear her uh, peeps over here. Thank <laughs> She's joining us all the way from Guam and is a proud recipient of WGU's I Have a Dream Scholarship. A certified accountant, today she is celebrating her master's in information technology. To Gladys and each of you, we extend our compliments. Your dedication to completing and earning your degrees today is a great testament for all of us to never give up. We know there are hundreds of stories and accomplishments worthy of highlighting, and we urge each of you to share your story with your family and friends. At this moment, I just want to share an old Native American proverb that says simply this, tell me, tell me the facts and I'll learn, tell me the truth and I'll believe, tell me a story and it will live in my heart forever. Each of you have that story of your lives. We encourage you to certainly share it with those that are close to you, that they may be inspired by it, that they will actually take that inspiration to change their life for the better and provide a platform for those who come behind us to stand on it and go even further. At this time, we have the opportunity to hear from two of your fellow graduates as they share their respective journeys to earn their degrees. I'm delighted to introduce Terrence Cooley, MBA in IT Management from Lincoln, California, 
and Artija Stamps, MBA from Benton, Arkansas. Please join me in welcoming Terrence to the lectern. Good afternoon, graduates! We earned this. My name is Terrence Cooley. This is my personal journey. And full disclosure, uh, my views do not represent those in the United States Air Force. Full disclosure, you know. You know it's going to be good when it starts with a disclaimer, okay? I'm an enlisted airman, a master sergeant in the United States Air Force. Thank you. I'm a former foster parent, a father, and now a friend among fellow night owls. But my educational journey, like many in this room, did not start with a clear trajectory. See, I, I learned the value of education when at five years old, I uh, made the rather childish decision to pull the fire alarm at Michigan State University. Now, if you've never seen a police officer stand on a cop car, and threaten an entire campus with prosecution to the fullest extent of the law you have not lived, let me tell you. And this was uniquely motivating for a kid who routinely sat in his mother's criminal justice classes. So of course, I raced out, begged for clemency, please do not prosecute me. And she could only look down on me, deflated, defeated, highly disappointed. She sent me back to my mom with a dressing down that to this day I have never forgotten. Fast forward to 2006, I graduated high school. Yes, I do see some of you doing the math. This is when I set foot into the real world, where I was ready to try and make a difference, to follow in my mother's footsteps. Four years later, I was still in community college on my third degree change, bored, uncertain, and further from progress than when I had started. I was forced to acknowledge that I was missing something, something my mother had in spades, purpose. She worked tenaciously to become an incredible physical forensic scientist for the Department of Defense, while still being a single parent who put food on the table for her three sons. Now, anyone who's met me knows, while I have had ambition, I had not found purpose, so I was wandering aimlessly. Now, I say that I left community college at four years. They say that I was released from community college. The jury's still out. The jury's still out. But of course, like anybody who doesn't cut it in community college, I joined and enlisted in the Air Force, which sounds like a negative, but has been an incredible positive experience for me. Because I figured if I couldn't find a, a purpose, the military would absolutely issue me one. Now, I've spent almost 13 years growing into a passionate change agent. And while my work in the Air Force has been purposeful, and in fact has influenced some events on the world stage, as pretentious as I know that sounds, it still wasn't my purpose. It took me becoming a foster parent in 2017 to help me find that. Here's where I became responsible for helping kids who've been separated from their families, sometimes for abuse and neglect, but sometimes just because of the accusations thereof. This was a difficult time for them, and I used education as a way to model a path out for something that they could take and own for themselves. I finished two degrees in the Air Force. Then in 2018, I joined WGU. Now, we're going to say that I had some, I'll call them mixed results when I started. Online school, as you know, might be a little hard to first go. So I dropped down in 2020 amidst the pandemic. But I remained a foster parent. And I'm incredibly glad that I did. Because on October 8th, 2021, I met my purpose. His name is Christopher. And on February 8th, 2023, he allowed me to become his father. He is an incredible young man, an electrical engineer in training, fantastic chemist, 
and I've stopped asking where he finds the parts to build his vinyl record players. He is brilliant, but he's also a kid who knows himself. He is courageous, fearless, and he's not afraid to give tough love back. He taught me you cannot take love for granted. And in fact, when a situation occurred with me, he told me, that's not consistent with your character, and you have one chance, one shot, to make this right. So everything I've done, I've dedicated to my son to let him know. Every day, I work to earn that one shot. And his own journey has not been without struggle, but he has overcome, and day after day, experience after experience, he has risen to the challenge. He started high school with a 1.0 GPA, and today I can officially say, this quarter, he has a 3.0 GPA. And I apologize in advance for your family members who are about to compete with him in college. During this time, as we were going through the adoption process, in 2022, my military mentor, Makita Brown, she challenged my perspective on education. Through brutal clinical precision, she eviscerated my many excuses for not getting back in the school. She reminded me that being a leader meant acting with courage, especially in the face of fear. She knew I was afraid of failing. She knew I was afraid of letting my son down. But she reminded me, you can't lift people up from the bottom of the mountain. You cannot get them to the summit from the bottom of the mountain. You have to climb. And if not for the people around me, then for my son. All of this combined into the inspiration I needed to spend 14 months pushing through 69 credit hours to finish my Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity and Information Assurance and my Master of Business Administration in IT Management. And as my mentor from WG, Elena Martinez, can attest, she made me earn it. She would not let me step back. She would not let me fail. She held the line. And I'm proud to say that I crossed it. Tassel and everything. It was enough for me to apply to California State University, Sacramento for doctoral admissions so that I can fix the foster care system. And ultimately, it was enough for me to stand here and say, I could not have completed this journey without the powerful bond my son and I share. He's my purpose. He's my inspiration. I am so proud of him. And just like in Lynn Miranda Monroe's play Hamilton, his story has its eyes on me, and I am not going to throw away my shot. Thank you all. Glad to be here. Let's graduate. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, proud family and friends, and most importantly, the resilient graduates of the Anaheim class of 2024. Well, my name is Artesia Stamps, and I stand before you today as a testament to the winding roads life can take us on. As quoted by Langston Hughes' poem, Mother to Son, life for me ain't been no crystal stair. You see, my journey wasn't a straight line. It was more like a roller coaster designed by someone who had never seen a roller coaster before. But here's my story. I grew up in Maywood, Illinois. My mom and dad always reassured me that I was special and that I was safe. But somewhere along the way, 
I was, li I was left to face life challenges on my own. That was tough. As a 15-year-old teenager, I had questions. Why was our household in shambles? Why is everything 10 times harder than it has to be? Why did my dad have to actually leave, right? I came to the harsh realization that he would no longer be there to help me with late night homework assignments. That time was gone. Well, it's not what you think. My father passed away when I was 15 years old. I went out to play, I came back home, he went to sleep, he did not wake up the next morning. Devastated, chaos. In the midst of this chaos, my beautiful and strong mother focused on providing for me and my sisters, right? And at that time, Education was the least of my concerns. College didn't feel like it was even an option. And where I'm from, our family focused on academics. We didn't really focus on academics as much, but we focused on survival because that's what it was all about growing up in Maywood, Illinois. Eventually, I attempted college, but spoiler alert, that did not end with a degree. And that was thanks to the mysteries of financial aid and an empty wallet. But by 2004, I had married my high school sweetheart. We'd moved to Little Rock, Arkansas. And we embarked on the greatest adventure of all, parenthood. It was parenthood for me. It was go time. I was a mama. He was a daddy. So you would think that would be it for school, right? Wrong. So in 2008, the education bug bit me again, and between diaper changes and life's chaos, I chipped away at my associate's degree, and I always told myself, slow and steady wins the race, right? I tried, but I got it. Then in 2011, with two beautiful daughters and my husband as my cheerleaders, I set out for my bachelor's degree. I had did it, but it took, <laughs> but wait y'all, it took me 11 years, 11 years. That's enough time to watch all the extended versions of the Lord of the Rings probably a hundred times. It got real. See, throughout the years, I've always had roadblocks, but I always found a detour. I have a speech impediment. I stutter. So I became a speaker. I fought through that. I love designing graphics, so I started a marketing company. And I had goals, so I enrolled at WGU. But that's where I found my awesome mentor, Lindsay White, who I couldn't have done this without her. And in 2023, with my husband um, by my side as my biggest hype man, I tackled my MBA at WGU. If there's anything I've learned is that there is not a Google map for life, right? We navigate as best we can. And even if we get rerouted, we don't just pull over. We turn on those hazard lights and we keep going and we keep going and we keep going. So to the Anaheim class of 2024 who have, who have undoubtedly faced their own detours and stop signs, who can join me in saying, we made it to the next step. We blew through all those lights. We didn't give up no matter how lost we felt. We made it. Keep climbing. Keep going. Congratulations, fellow graduates. We did it.
Let's give one more round of applause to both Terrence and Artigia for sharing their stories with us. <laughs> Truly remarkable just to see the inspiration that they are to those close to them, but now also the inspiration that they shared with all of us. I love that simple summary of the, what's next? You're now prepared for what's next. It is now that opportunity that all of you have been waiting for, the conferral of de degrees. So let's welcome our Chief Academic Officer and Provost, Dr. Courtney Hills Macbeth, to the lectern. Well, I'm thinking, Jose, maybe it's not too late to think about that presidential run. You can always be a write in candidate or third party candidate. So today is a very special day for you all and your families. I'd also like to share, for me, it's a special day, as this is my first WGU commencement day as Provost and Chief Academic Officer. One of my dreams was always to help lead a university like WGU. And I had a grandma who had an eighth grade education who always told me, Courtney, go get the education that I could never get. So as I hear Jose tell his dream of how he worked towards becoming an astronaut and that vision of him being in space and watching the sun rise and what a dream that is for him, that was part of his fulfilling dream, for me today, seeing all of you and all of your amazing family and friends here is a day of fulfillment uh, of my dream, which is to be part of an amazing university that values the inherent worth of every individual, all of you and all of the trials and obstacles that you persevered through to get to this day. So thank, thank you for being part of my first day, commencement day at WGU. Today we proudly recognize each of our master's degree graduates who wear a hood bearing the color of their discipline. Would the candidates for the master's degrees please rise if you're able. It's remarkable looking at all of your families. I just encourage all of you, just take a look at all of your family and friends here. This is amazing. Woo! Upon the favorable recommendation of the faculty and the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and member governors of Western Governors University, I hereby confer upon you the master's degree you have earned. To include the Master of Business Administration, Master of Science and Marketing, and Master of Science with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Would all of the Give them all a round of applause. Now, would all of those here today earning a bachelor's degree please stand? Upon the favorable recommendation of our faculty and the authority vested in me, by the Board of Trustees and Member Governors of Western Governors University, I hereby confer upon you the bachelor's degree you have earned with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. You may now move the tassel from the right to the left side of your mortarboard. Deepest and sincerest congratulations and welcome to the global community of college graduates. And now we will recognize individually each of our fantastic graduates. Mitsu, will you please come to the lectern followed by Paul? Mitsu Frazier is our Executive Dean and Senior Vice President of our School of Business, and Paul Bingham, Senior Vice President and Executive Dean of our School of Technology. Mitsu? It is such an honor to be here celebrating with our graduates from the School of Business. 
You are the leaders of our fast-paced world. You set the pace of business through your contributions in human resource, accounting, finance, and leadership. You're ensuring the future of our country is filled with entrepreneurial and exciting ideas. The experiences that you've achieved along the way and the new learnings that have come with your degree position you as an invaluable asset and a force for good. You inspire me and all of us at WGU with your resilience, your courage to overcome, and your ability to complete your degree. Stay curious and never underestimate the power of hard work. Congratulations on your graduation. We wish you nothing but success, fulfillment, and joy as you embark on this next exciting chapter. Will the graduates from the School of Business, starting with the first row, please come forward row by row at the direction of the marshals to be recognized individually. Mary Joy Napone. Amy Grindrod. Amy Grindrod. Brittany Jones. Annie Wang. Molly E. Jacobstein. Jessica Buley. Cami Jerome. Stephen Cuthbert. Taishani Ungerkar. Kevin Jereni Ojeda. Lydia Chavez Garcia. Cameron Shustari. Daniel Havel. Evan Marshall. Laura Nelson. Isaiah Homer. Anthony McFall. Terrence Cooley. Kavon Pasco. Shari Brown. Artesia Stamps. Ronnie Boyer. Darren Bullock. Nicole Turner. Yeah, that's why I came right in. Derek Smith. <laughs> Naomi Sinclair. Brenda Rogers. Annie Chibanda. Angene Chabuzian. Sierra Ferguson. Jeff Haight. Gloria Cole. Claudia Barreto. Esperance Makati. Emma Schwab. Rajesh Haridas. Emily Thomas. Jesus Bravo. 
Sergio Caro. Timothy Lee. Jasmine Wallace. Amber Martin. Anna Brumgart. Asiel Garcia. Belinda Sibanda. Tamiano Gurr. Obed Garcia. Suzanne Houlihan. Jamie Ledesma. Valerie Davis. Rebecca Smith. Dominique Espindola. Tomoki Kabukari. Erica Rowe. Monique Lewis. Renee Noft. Amanda Olvera. Casey Hinckley. Garrett Pitts. Georgia Bain Leggett. Michael Flowers Sr. Shalina Bali. Andrew McDonald. Ashley Jean Day. Jennifer Lobov. Joella Mendoza. Zierion Cook. Misty Farrell. Michael Ajapon. Rachel Ginger. Donna Gunter. Yeme Olajuwon. Mabel U. David Carter. Salvador He Corquite. Esmeralda Bilobos. Braden Orquita. Carlos Soto. Maria Acleos. Christina Lapari. Denisha Cox. Etienne Kwasi. Kristen Banta. Haniros Salazar. Christopher Ahatur. Taylor Bamey. Susan Masharia. Mary McManus. Josie Monette Bestaho. Kristen Kowalski Avalos. Tyler Weibel. Decency Ojibona. Onanichi Decense. Vivek Basavigoda Ramu. Gail Jackson. Lorraine Heck. Brock Chadsey. Thaddeus Y. Rostek. Brittany Holman. 
Maria Nafwani. Heather Santos. Claire Paria. Jesse Quick. Lady Joanna Castablanco Torres. Thank you. Amgad Solomon. Edith Tafoya. Bonita McWilliams. Timothy Van Norman. Jeremy Briggs. Makisa Thompson. Elizabeth Goss. Janissa Moore. Desiree Garcia. Julia Evans. Maciel Durenberger. Araceli Correa Torres. Taylor Perales. Rakesh Arta. Karen Davis. Jenny Parker. Denise Cajigas. Mark Angelio Montes. Maggie Elizabeth Crittenden. Tromika Bibbins. Claudia Eros. Christina Keith. Miri Sim. Ivan Rios. Vikram Sarare. Shenaz Sial. Blair Wood Sr. Jennifer Duarte. Chesity Anderson. Sergio Duarte. Amber Davis. Angel Kim. Nicole Kirsty Heller. Joseph Santor. Dan DeMarco. Mary Wilson. Rachel Bowden. Jennifer Hires. Marie Onopatores. Carolyn Roberts. Maurice Hires. Tamali Bolas. Stella Shersky. Tara Polkrod. Yvonne Stallion. Stacy Reichert. Rosemary Rodriguez. Megan Tate. Nand Kotka. Suzette Gezenko. James Cunningham the fifth. Melissa Burgles. Carissa McKinney Carter. Taisha Petty. Tanya Satsad. Andy Onate. 
Heather DeBarge. Michael Satsad. Emily Corral. Elvaro Gallardo Sanchez. Natalie Liu. Deborah Olashina. Ina Sunny. Jennifer Hassenbaugh. Marissa Espain. Robin Willis. Chad Wooders. Princess Black. Kylie Johnson. Erica Gutierrez. Robin Faleafine. Nathan Hinojosa. Joshua Chang. Laura Kose. Donna Alcazar. Amber Depoy. Ria Lou Trinidad. Angel Alsea. Anna Altman. Paul Hacker. Stephanie Monique Hansen. James Inslee. Tatiana St. John. Joytea Pollard. Jasmine Bullard. Wesley Graylap. David Rodriguez. Autumn Carruthers. Jacqueline Gomez. Joy Sandwick. Sean Clark. Shelly Hansen. Steve Lonkowski. Nathan Rosson. Giovanni John Baptiste. Jamal Brown. Tacky Law. Hayden Blackham. Mario Navarro. Stephanie Robinson. Shane Callahan. Eric Guerra. Donald Brot. Juna May Dayog. Becky Leonard. Juna Marez Dayok. Savannah Goodrich. Lydia Rios. Harlene Mann. Angela Morris. Monica Martinez. Robin Cotadad. Shawana L. McFall. Christopher Bennett. Jamal Bernardez. Fred Boyd. Kimberly Hiller. Oh, Michelle. Crystal Shepherd. Amy Curley. 
Jeremiah Johnson. Aaron Bourgeois. Craig Patinaud. Sam Arvizu. Daphne Daniel. Alu Watobi Atiba. Brian Dadarian. Jose Garcia. Marissa Proventure. Conley Nguyen. Janessa Matoza. Cindy Garvin. Anna Hernandez. Tyson Matoza. Kayla Cheyenne Blas. Lucy Mushi. James Dilworth. Laura Shum. Sam Lunn. Joseph Yaksich. Talia Jenkins. Erica Everleth. Sarah Emily Valencia. Ross Williams. Tori Rue. Hazel Davis. Catherine Minter. Melissa Nomolove. Desiree Rios. Anthony Andriola. Jasmine Williams Jefferson. Brooklyn Ziegler. Remy Cruz. Dana Smith. Ryan Ziegler. Kyle Cunningham. Fatima Pool Quintero. Brian Lamos. Joshua Cummins. Nancy Palanco. Abby Tyler. Aiden Baldwin. Sofia Perez. Lisa Brogan. Ricky Tambiro. Joseph No. Heather Osipovich. Rita Morales. Blake Mitchell. Nana Duamena. Mariah Davis. Akila Griffin. Michael Cortez Klein. Precious Ubodu. Madison Newman. Gloria Velasquez. Chris Bonias. Blair Eversley. Casey Bond. Jeremy Zimmerman. Chloe Attar. Jake Wheeler. Douglas Rauer. Julianne Joyce. Dylan Wynn. Brianna Quayer. Nicholas Andrade. Dominique Francois. 
Aditya Jain. Andrew Hendricks. Liz Benson. Kenneth Vincent Barentine Jr. Kenneth Vincent Barentine the Third. Carly Olson. Carl Goy. Chad Phillips. Evan Kraus. Samantha Andrade. Jacob Richardson. Oluwatoyo Siu I A D Amo La Balogan. Braille Cannon. Brienne Stewart. Raymond Sir Isle. Eric Munoz. Nicole Delpit. ID Horace. Kat Dumlau. Christian Salas. Ashley Horstmeyer. Ernesto Vasquez. Meka Garrett. Caroline Pinheiro. Isaiah Castello. Stephanie Garrett. Olivia Smith. Jonathan Almanza. Ben Bicek. Audrey Songkang. William Andrew Panetta. Jasmine Mitchell. Samir Rizvivi. Augustine Dow. Aubrey Stoddard. Raymond Aseo. Marquise Robinson. Joseph Crawford. Jordan Skousen. Yasmani Castaneda. Michelle Romero. Claudia C. Gonzalez Urudia. Amy Morales. Albert Munoz. Alicia Renterea Felix. Uthman Sano. William Delahouse. Lacey Wall. Jennifer Flores. Brandy King. Deanna Morales. Cheyenne De La Cruz. Jacob Doyle. Matt Quincy. Angela Howlett. Sheila Berger.
Brian Juro. Daniel Cortez. Erica Klein. Congratulations to all of our graduates of the School of Business. Graduates from the School of Technology, I'm so very proud of each one of you. Yes. As bold, and innovative, as bold and innovative professionals, you have a unique perspective on where the world of data and technology is headed. That's because many of you will be leading us there. Just as technology is increasingly expanding the limits of what we used to think was possible, you, armed with your degree and the same passion and tenacity that got you here, are now poised to expand the limits of what you may have previously thought was possible. Your future careers, inventions, and accomplishments are truly limitless. I'm looking forward to seeing where you go from here. Congratulations. Will you please come forward and allow us to celebrate with you today? Arun Prasa, Upala Krishnan. Dene Pettit. Stefan Evans. Francis Russo. Mac Adams III. Amberlyn Johnson. Roxanne M. Pearson. Jessica White. Trish Smith. Derry Day. Joelle Barron. Patricia Carter. Eddie Villarreal Jr. Kennedy Mushaiwa. Lisette Avalos. Fonda Nikwacha. Oscar Chavez. Eric Washington. Lissandro Bustamante. Miriam Hernandez de Jesus. Gu Chen. Bruce Harris. Ivy Dasher. Aaron Snyder. Cameron Hall. John Rodriguez. Dominique Moore. Justin Buavon. Jeff Anderson. Selena Cantrell. 
Megan Rooks. Albert Diaz. Joseph Dominguez. Catherine Beck. Zachary Gonzalez. Sandra Bautista. Jeff Barr. Jesse Sheeran. Parisa Funston. Gat Wynn. Bobby Michelle Gray. Monica McSwain. Crystal Brooks. India Allen. Justin Mancall. Alexander Tao. Sarkis Karaptan. Ikena Njoku. Dustin Andrasek. Dylan Kimball. Sarah Tirado. Maria Gardano. Grace Felix. Milton Mancia. Jocelyn Garcia Rojas. Joshua Govia. Christy Pearson. Glenda Phillips. Julie Durston. Kenesha Camille Sutherland. Jennifer Ollie. Lorinda Hine. Karina Hutzbeth. Caden Haven. Jennifer Adams. Diana Beatrice Gwenfield Mojica. Catherine Hull. Ethan Krimata. Kevin Amend. Jocelyn Valdez. Basil Dinga. Jessica Kraft. Jessica Lozano. Christina McDonald. Sears Kepler. Nicole Croxton. Kimberly Palacios. Tahina Adriamiali. Tika Holmes Castillo. Sherry Elder. Leilani Kabudal. Arion Grace Gatsa Garcia. Robert Bruce. Tiomera Moreno. Alex Hernandez. Taylor Will Ford. William Duncan. Taylor Ford. Andy Wittenberger. Kristen Keck. Jennifer Baker. Stephanie Tiana Keomalo. Amada Ariano. Maria Nichols. Sandra Buhanda.
Michael Ansalado. James A. Buckhorn. Becky Ogden. Michael Miller. Jennifer Powell. Roger Varhas. Alex Mitchell. Amanda Norris. Jeremy Luckett. Jacqueline Manning. Katrina Safuentes. Penelope Bushy. Amber Damon. Jordan Owen. Natasha Walker. Christopher Lemenez. Gina Fisher. Scott Ledbetter. Lisa Aduna. Megan Grocock. Shivnal Raj. Lisa Johnston. Rebecca Bonfrias. Evelyn Martinez. Jamie Talby. Ben McAnulty. Sam Torosian. Jennifer Arciaga. Eric Antonio Mejia. Armando Brunis. Sabrina Barrera. Lucinda Ho. Mariana Newman. Kyle Ferguson. Catherine Smith. Cedric Ted Register. Sean Johnson. Roseanne Cropanis. Denise Gilbert. Camille Innocent. Shauna Girardi. Kayla Lien. Jeanette Guardado. Isenae Padgett. Clarissa Mejia. Seda Ong. Antonio Maderos. Karen White. Nila Soto. Chris Johnston. Victoria Wilson. Gladys Campos. Billy Barnett. Lakea Kimber. Madison Evans. Evan Haskey. Ms. Gail Freeman. Mara Sata. Randall Tripp. Vanessa Luciano. Jasmine Renee Hekanora Sells. Ali Ida. Griffin Wheatley. Latifa Jones. Matthew Young. Juan Trevino. 
Lawrence Mendenhall. Susan Bayaketti. Cheshmita Solis. Nicholas Brunson. Duane Scott. Tanisha Perez. Mara Narvaro. Sarai Badajos. Liban Farah. Joseph Greenlee. Eric Ariola. Corey Gallagher. Cassidy Limley. Woo! Brendan Green. Berlin Lamost. Rob Limley. Emerald Blatz. Orlando Castellanos. Riley Limley. Kayla Rivenbark. Alisa Jefferson. Jeanette Sanchez. Gina Angel. Frank Santiago. Joshua Fuentes Pole. Sandra Ortega. Karen Alin. Jesus Alvarez. Joseph Jordan. Eric Sierra. KJ Holthouse. Manuel Torres Jr. Kaylee Shepard. Francis Jones. Landon Redding. Jacqueline Pacheco. Noel K.I. Vanessa Lewis. Hashim Jokraini. Henry Kim. Kishel Barr. Cambry Chalet Lucas. Abigail Jensen. Gurjoth. Graywall. Alisa Snyder. Kimberly Batts. Maninder Graywall. Christina McNair. Francesca Lopez Arello. Kathy Bailey. Jonica Thomas. Alex Ho. Atu Myers. Nora Elisa Ayala. Joel Azar. Maureen Pontevilai. Timothy Granger. Alice Robb. Clive Pelu. Adrian Jones. Aisha Brown. Jose Frias. Nicholas Calderon. Hugh Wynn. Justin Wynn. Bao Tran. 
Alabore Rotimi. Becca Allen. Nicole Thrash. Angela Ruby. Brian Simo. Caitlin Threra. Aaron Lopez Salas. Alex Vachacon. Ada Carr. Isaiah Cooper. David Apodaca. Jonathan Bennett. Noah Smith. Hassan Mahdi. Kaelin Patterson Cesar Sr. Christopher Wadowiak Sr. Kaleo Paderes. Maroon Barkawi. Mercedes Dubas. Adam Irvin. Dustin Curry. Amanda Skogard. Michael Neiman. Thomas Beckman. Andres Torres. Patrick Claude. La Math. Devin Taylor. Joshua Zimmerman. Andy Silva. Lyle Amorest. Dwayne Smith. Susan Elizabeth Staley. Timothy Martinez. Enoch Torres. Catherine Wynn. Paul Long Jr. Christina Logan. Christy Tang. Joshua Santos. Basu Kubaswamy. Christopher Lim. Aaron Gale. Michelle Vanderberg. James King. Ashley Spearin. So Chang Link Tang. Destiny Staten. Jeremy Harris. Jim Loman. Jose Eridis. Patricia Pascal. Philip Maldonado. Michelle Thicket. Sarah Osterhog. Saul Cordio. Rick Wynn. Kester Fornilier. Clint Nick. Omar Martinez. Aaron Durney. Ismail Julia Via. Matthew Baker. Alex Riviera. 
Attila Kuhn. Jonathan Vasquez. Michael Cersei. Albanego Arceo. Jorge Gonzalez de Cruz. Mark Lasig. Kenneth Taylor. Yulian Madeline Kostaki. Mert Hillick. Spencer Cersei. Tyrese Bowens. Khan Balkin. Linnea Martin. Leah Mossman. Haley Lorek. Elbrun Daniel. Emmett Massey. Jacob McEwen. Rasan Jones. Derek Wong. Ashley Osei. Alexander Cheek. Connor Ross. Mario Flores. Bailey Jepson. Sam Wu. Asia Havalera. Sopak Lim. Jake Wilson. Ben Thornton. Damon Harris. Richard Lyon. Holuwashe Gunfami Samuel. Lily Lyon. Gustavo Chavez Jr. Eduardo Castro Carlos. Timothy Mazur. Anthony Huerta. Joab Jimenez. Jacob Sanchez. Alma Munoz. Mark Oshwald. Charlton Lee. Christian Sorensen. Abdul Rahman Ayash. Ruben Gutierrez. Leonard Traska. Demetrius Lloyd. Chase Daniels. Ronald Ian Batayan. Reynaldo Davalerio. Nebu Jebri Johannes. Richard Brimson. Gregory Andres. Monique Bayeo. Roberto Grorosave. Sean Ripley. Vilohit. Howdell. Kaji Tanyi. Kalha Mohammed. Trevor Lothian. Austin Bass. Kyan Chin. Joshua Cooper. Angela Diaz. Hassan Gafari. David Hughes. 
Jonathan Casanova. Joseph Dehaney. Isaiah Gibson. Kyle Covert. Nathan Karnickian. David Reynolds. Kaz Bishop. Jesus Mendoza. Smarika Pradhan. Nicholas Ortiz. Terrace Ombasa. Heather Barker. Gladys Jean Ocampo Cezanne. Liam Wynn. Mark Holland. Eric Wynn. Ryan William. William Brown. Brandon Hamilton Smith. Randy Angel. Connor Chemnis. Synthesy Omega. Duay Rao. Sindisi Omega. Darren Longnecker. Xavier Williams Sr. Jacob Howard. Damien Graham Sr. Alexis Becerra. Griffin Schwab. Avi Gellert. Logan Decker. Francisco Naveja. Jeremy DeLima. Santiago Carrillo Sanchez. Milton Alvarez. Nick Sherman. Kiefer Land. Joe Truby. Ade Washington. Claire Dieterly. Jonathan Wynn. Caleb Stammen. Ozil Abdakarim. Sean Langevich. Darian Phillips. Nicholas Gonzalez. Dexter Bauman. Elizabeth Dickinson. Daria Rowland. Antonio Jenkins. Alan Heiss. Nathaniel Wilson. Paul Soto. Diego Nunez. Nicholas Breedlove. Patricia Colley. Jonathan Choi.
Congratulations to all of the graduates of the School of Technology. Remy Oliteru. Congratulations to all the graduates of Western Governors University. What an amazing sight. Congratulations, graduates. I'd like to take this moment to recognize and thank the graduates wearing blue and gold philanthropy cords. Today, their generosity and support for other students and WGU's fellow Night Owl Scholarship. Philanthropy cords are not only a physical symbol of a graduate's commitment to WGU, but they also support a legacy that will last for generations to come. Thanks to the incredible support of these alumni and thousands of alumni before them, more than $266,000 has been raised for the fellow Night Owl Scholarship. This scholarship fund has helped more than 252 students cross the finish line to graduation. Thank you for your support in helping our fellow Night Owls succeed. Remember, you're a Night Owl for life. Joining an ever-growing alumni network of over 320,000 graduates. I'm just going to pause there for a minute. 320,000 graduates. You're now part of that alumni network. As our most recent graduates, you can find support when you network with fellow alumni and in turn offer your mentoring support to other alumni and current students. Think about a future where you can now hire WGU alumni. We also welcome you to explore lifelong career resources and alumni benefits at wgu.edu backslash alumni. Know this, the entire WGU community stands ready to champion your success and celebrate your achievements every step of the way. As you embark on new pathways to opportunity, I'm inspired to know that the degree you have earned here at WGU has done more than just arm you with the knowledge to succeed in your careers. It's taught you the value of investing in yourself and your family and your community and sharing with the world, and please continue to share with the world your unique gifts. One of my favorite authors and Professor C.S. Lewis said, you are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. So I ask, what is your next goal? your next adventure, your next dream. What adventure awaits you now that you have obtained the knowledge and skills that accompany your degree? I challenge you to be bold, to not limit yourself in the next pursuit. Learning is a lifelong journey, and you'll always be part of our WGU family. And I urge you, as you continue your journey, to reach back and give others the same chance that helped you succeed. Identify meaningful ways to contribute to your communities and help us create a brighter pathway for future generations. At WGU, we have a commitment to serving and uplifting our communities. I challenge you to make that same commitment. The world needs, more, needs you more than ever before. You've proven you can do it. You've persevered. You've done hard things at just the right time, because the world is changing and we need people like you who can do hard things to make it a better place. As we close, I hope you will take a moment to reflect on the pride you felt during this ceremony. I hope you can keep that with you as you move forward. Thank you for letting us 
and me personally at my first WGU commencement for being part of your educational journey, and we celebrate with you. You will leave this ceremony as part of the WGU family. WGU will always be a part of you, and you will always be a part of WGU. Our commencement is nearing the end, and we will ask you to follow the direction of our marshals to exit. But before we do that, I'm going to ask our team on this stage to stand. I'm going to ask our WGU mentors and instructors and evaluators please stand. And I'd also ask every WGU employee here who's volunteering your time, please stand. Let's give them a big round of applause. I've worked in and with many universities, and I will tell you I've never seen a more dedicated faculty and staff than those who are here at WGU. What an amazing team. Graduates, we are inexpressibly and deeply proud of you and your accomplishments. You enrolled at WGU as an individual. You succeeded with the support of your family, friends, and mentors and faculty. For all you have overcome to get to this moment, we salute you. And as you take the next step, you will do it with the applause and ovation of those thousands who love you. Congratulations. Delivered, I'm yours. 